Welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be talking about a Salehi Bembry collab with Crocs on the Pollux Clog, and this is known as the Kawada in the pale blush colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of you coming out that i don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store today we're going to be talking about another salehi bembry croc if you haven't seen the first croc unboxing i've done with salehi bembry be sure to go back check that video out but today we'll be talking about the Kawada in the pale blush colorway. We'll go through the overview, jump into size and fit on these, followed by how I styled them, and then we will conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So let's jump right into it. So as you know, the Slahey Bembury Crocs, these have been one of the most difficult Crocs to literally get. They are impossible it seems like but this is actually my second colorway that i've actually been able to cop and i feel like out of the two colorway options this is my favorite i think that this pale blush colorway is just a nice kind of nude color scheme which i personally feel like is a great colorway that goes with my skin tone Definitely, I feel like for some, this may be a little too on the pink side for you, or it may not be necessarily your nude that you like to wear. Uh, but for me, I think that this is just a nice muted colorway. We have that pale blush, which pretty much covers the entirety of the croc itself. We do have that transparent looking kind of gelatin on the big toe region here that does have kind of a more rose tone to it. As we work our way to the back, we do have Salehi Bembury on the attachments here with crocs, as well as this kind of nice rose and blush tone for the strap here and then we've got Crocs and Salehi Bembry as well on the back of the strap there and then we've also got the dual branding on the interior. As we work our way to the bottom of the outsole again we've got more of that like darker deeper blush colorway with the other just neutral tone intermixed in there. So let's take a look at those details.
All right, so as far as size and fit goes on these, I definitely would highly recommend sizing down. I run in that half size range and these again come only in full sizes. So I would recommend sizing down. I do feel like they run quite large, even with the strap on the back, I feel like you do still have a little bit of extra space. So I'm typically a men's seven and a half and I went with a size seven. Uh, when I did go up a size to size eight, they were massive way too big unfortunately that I wasn't even able to wear those and keep my size eight so I would again recommend going and sizing down half a size if you do have higher chanero feet like myself definitely take that into consideration when you're deciding on what size works for you if you do have flatter wider feet that could also differentiate something opposite from my own since we have different types of feet all right so now let's talk about styling again I just think this is such a beautiful colorway is very simplistic and very neutral it is very very close to a nude for me personally to wear. Uh, so for the first look, I definitely wanted to play off the pink hue. So I decided to go with a light pink crew neck sweater with a maxi satin pink skirt. Again, I think that pink hues are just lovely with this. And then for the second look, I decided to wear a button down satin pink blouse and I layered that with a nice kind of sparkly cropped sweater in pink as well. And then for the bottoms, I wore some cream denim pants. Then for the last and final look, I went all monochromatic with a nice kind of light baby pink uh, corduroy crew neck with matching pants. Definitely think that you can really mix and match the pink hues with this one. All right, so you let me know down below what was your favorite look of the three or how would you style these? Now 
now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $85 and they are currently going a little below that retail price point of $66 to $800. All right, everybody, that is it for this unboxing and review. If you joined us for the first time, thank you so much. Be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for amazing membership perks as well as our amazing merch store. This is Shay TV. My name's Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all next episode. It is up to realize that you could hurt me. I